Dub C here, we're back another MRE ration review. I'm outside doing some cold weather camping, got a hot tent out set up, but I'm hungry. So I'm gonna bust out a Danish 24 hour ration. Really excited to get in here. It actually says it has 3,829 calories. So open it up and see what we got. All right, so it comes in a nice box. It is a little bit beat up. I actually got this from your, yourmres.com. I'll put a link down below, but uh, there was no shipping costs on this. And then also got some Lithuanians for the same thing. So it's really nice. And uh, like I said, it has 3,829 calories. This is ration 19. I believe that's beef stroganoff. We'll have to check it out. It opens with this front right here. So we'll go ahead and peel this. I'm not sure if it's cold weather ration, but if my hands look cold, it's because they are extremely cold. But there's freeze dried mains, so that's a plus right there. So we have a beef stroganoff with rice. We got tuna with sweet chili. That sounds pretty good. We got some mackerel and tomato sauce. We got some porridge. We got some Wild West beef jerky. We got a cereal bar, caramel flavored. Oh, nice. I believe this is a orange cake. Oh, orange flavored cake, yep, that's awesome. We got some strawberry jam, some apricot jam, uh, Brussels pate. This thing's pretty loaded. I see where all the calories are coming from. We got farmhouse, farmhouse pate. Oh, check this out. I've never seen this like this. There's a whole rye bread. That's cool. We got nut walker cashew nuts, roasted and salted. Awesome. Oh, check this out. We got a fruit fruit pocket. That's really cool. I think they're like the maybe the British ORPs. We got a pack of matches. And even though the box is beat up, I don't see any damage on, on this product. So, I mean, I may be speaking too soon, but got a protein bar. Like a oh, that's actually orange chocolate. We got some modules. We'll have to open up separately. We got two modules. Looks like there's a few loose matches in here, but that's not nothing major. We got some hazelnut spread with choc uh, chocolate flavor. We got a cocoa flavored uh, beverage powder. This is awesome. Yeah, this is a uh, like a three pack of whole grain biscuits, but they're like all attached together. We have a chocolate bar. We got some, um, oh, it looks like some more bread. Ooh, I love this stuff. This is spicy sauce. This stuff's great. I mean, then, wow, I think that comes, I think, I don't, I believe that comes in Norwegian. We got some uh, beef soup. Lots of good items. Like I said, the only thing that I seen was some loose matches, but that's not a problem. All this stuff held up, but it's all packaged really well. And um, like I said, the box is very durable. All right, and the first module actually uh, looks like something's leaking. It's in a bag with a rubber band around it. And that's, I think it's a great idea that they did this if uh, this is how they intended it because some of these things pop open like it did and not, nothing else is, is compromised or dirty. I've had other rations where these drink pouches have blown up and they just get sugar over everything. So we'll have to see which one's leaking, but we definitely have um, one of these packages that is open. So we have a raspberry flavored drink. All right, we have a peach flavored drink, and that was the one that's open. You can actually see at the bottom, it's got a little separation right there. So we'll go ahead and get that out of there. We got a package of raisins. And a package of fruit minis. Oh, that's awesome. And this looks like fruit minis black currant. Very excited for that. Okay, an accessory kit. Again, wrapped up in this nice um, bag. I mean, this is... Probably one of the better presentation rations I've seen um, as far as packaging and kind of keeping everything together. So we have the additional bag. I'm going open to see what we got. We got a toothbrush. Looks like a couple spoons. Although these spoons are nice looking, that they usually don't hold up in the cold. We got three packs of Colombian freeze-dried coffee. Excited for that. 
We got three packs of pepper. Looks like three packs of salt. Two black teas. Two packs of sugar. Looks like three um, package wipe, like hand sanitizers. We got three toothpicks and three pieces of gum. This thing is absolutely loaded. Okay, for lunch, I'm going to have the raspberry drink, protein bar, farmhouse pate with some rye bread. We got the mackerel and tomato sauce, tuna with sweet chili, some beef jerky, cashews, uh, nuts, and some raisins. And I also have one of the biscuits from the pack. Okay, I got everything back in the box, packaged up real nice. Um, they say these things aren't doing great in the cold. They're starting to freeze up a little bit. That's why I want to definitely open those up and try them out. I'll go ahead and open up the rye bread. I wonder if this is like the other rye bread I've seen, maybe from like uh, the German rations. Canned bread, look at that, it's like sliced. It's really cool. And then we'll open up the biscuit. Hopefully it's not too broken up. Oh yeah, a little bit. But, uh, we can test that with the pate and the tuna. Here's the choco orange flavored protein bar. That's cool. Hopefully it's not too rock hard. We'll have the farmhouse pate. Go ahead and open that up. Go ahead and mix up our raspberry flavored fruit drink. Calls for 500 milliliters of cold water. All right, let's go ahead and start trying some stuff out. We got the cashew nuts roasted and salted. Looks like they need a nice vacuum pack. Let's go and try some out. It's not very often you see cashews and ration and then roasted and salted. It's really nice. They are delicious. We'll go ahead and try some of these raisins. Look at that. Very sweet flavor and has a little tartness in it. Still very delicious. Probably one of the better raisins I've had from a, a packet like that. I want to try some of this pate. Put it on the multi-grain biscuit first. Pate has a little bit of iron flavor to it. Not too bad. But these biscuits, fantastic. Really, uh, they break apart really easy. And uh, like you said, they hold a perfect carrier for that pate. Let's go ahead and try a little bit with this rye bread. This rye bread has the same texture as other rye breads from other rations. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, it has the same taste as the other rye breads as well, but still, I'm gonna get another perfect carrier. Goes great with either one. Now I'm wondering how these tunas are gonna taste on those. So we have the tuna with sweet chili. Said these are a little bit cold, so hopefully not too iced up. It's got like a little, you can see the chili on it. Go ahead and put it on the rye bread. Try it out. While the rye bread has a little bit of, of uh, dryness to it, the tuna with sweet chili really has a great flavor and it actually helps with the dry rye bread. And it also has a little bit of spice, which I really enjoy. All right, now we'll try the mackerel and tomato sauce. It's got a nice red uh, color to it. You can see the tomato sauce. We'll put a little bit on this uh, multi green cracker. The tuna with uh, sweet chili is much better than this. This macaron and tomato sauce really just tastes like tomato soup with, uh, well, really cold tomato soup with a fishy taste to it. Again, not bad on the grain cracker biscuit, but not uh, not as good as the uh, tuna with chili. I'm going to wash it down with the raspberry flavored drink. One of the absolutely better drinks I've had actually tastes like fresh raspberries as opposed to artificial, which I can really appreciate. Okay, next we got the Wild West beef jerky. Comes in a nice uh, little pack, a little piece here. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh, it's nice beef jerky. Nice bite to it, not overly hard, and has a nice black pepper flavor to it. Um, comes through really well when you're chewing it. Now it's time for dessert. Let's try this choco orange protein bar. Oh yeah, that's really good. The choco orange bar is gone. It has a really nice uh, accent of a real orange flavor. Again, not as artificial as normal. And then the chocolate come, like goes with it really well. Absolutely fantastic lunch. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and then uh, I'll see you guys back at dinner time. Okay, it is dinner time. I got a nice fire going outside, as well as one in the wood stove and the tent. So I got all warmed up. Got my water all ready to go. It's time to eat. I'm having the beef stroganoff with rice. I got the orange cake. 
some spicy sauce. I'm not sure if I'll need that. Looks like it's some um, uh, bread, chocolate bar, some beef stew, beef soup, Brussels pate, sugar, and some uh, black tea. All right, let's add some hot water to the beef stroganoff and rice. All right, that's what the beef stroganoff looks like. Calls for 300 milliliters of hot or boiling water. I'm gonna use my Winterwell large water heater. Just got it off the stove. Fill up this for my uh, tea and get everything going. Go ahead and the 300 milliliters of hot water to the beef stroganoff. Let that sit. Okay, I'm gonna add some hot water to this um, check mess kit to get the beef soup. Everything's gonna cool down quick if I don't hurry up. Okay, add the tea real quick. Okay, now some beef soup. Okay, now open up this bread. Almost looks like the American Emery snack bread, so hopefully it tastes a little bit better. And now we'll open up the orange cake. There's the orange cake. It comes in a nice package and it's wrapped up in some paper. All right, we got the Brussels pate. Very uh, smooth compared to the farmhouse. Let's go ahead and try some on a piece of this bread. Oh, this actually splits. Very nice. Yes, the pate is much creamier. It does have a stronger uh, liver taste to it, but still goes great with that bread. And this bread actually tastes way better than the uh, um, wheat snack bread. It's actually very close just to regular wheat bread. I mean, there's not overly dry, has a good texture to it. It's really good. Go ahead and try some of this beef soup. It's gonna be really nice in this cold weather. Well, that beef soup is fantastic. It is very, uh, I actually had a little bit too much water, but in my favor, it's not overly salty. So it's very subtle beef flavor. And it has those like bread, like crout croutons in there. So you get a nice crunch and then the little noodles. Strong onion flavor that I enjoy, but overall, Perfect. I thought I had black pepper ready, but it doesn't need any seasoning. It has perfect flavor as is. Okay, I'm gonna add some sugar to my tea. Okay, I'm gonna try some of the tea. The black tea has a nice bold flavor. It's not really bitter, but the sugar really helped. I bet it'd be great dipping this orange cake in there. But let's go ahead and try a piece of this orange cake while we're waiting for the main. Very dense. Again, the orange essence, like natural oranges, not artificial. It's very dense on the outsides, but it's very moist in the inside. Like I said, just a little dip of this tea, make it even better. All right, time to try out this main. So we have some beef stroganoff. Um, looks like it's a red peppers, mushrooms. Let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, this beef stroganoff is a lot different than I'm used to. And typically, beef stroganoff have very creamy, sour cream flavor this has more of a vegetable medley or a beef stew flavor although creamy it's not as much as what i'm used to as the mushroom and then the meat the little pieces of beef are like little pieces of steak they have a nice bite to them and it's very very good although different from what i'm used to very very good so far both lunch and dinner has had awesome components i mean all the flavors and everything is up there right with a, like a French ration. So very high quality. And I love the fact that the fruit items aren't so artificial. Let's go ahead and try some of the chocolate bar. It's a dark chocolate, uh, I think 72%. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try it out. All right, this chocolate bar is amazing. Dark chocolate, 72%. I love dark chocolate, first of all. But it's another quality product from this ration. And it's one of the better chocolates I've had from a ration. But I do want to get... I forgot to try the main on this bread. It does split apart. I'm always trying to take great things and just make them better. Taking the main and putting on the bread, fantastic combo. It went with the bread perfectly. The bread is amazing. It just carries the flavor, and they just work together so well. It's like having bread and butter with a hearty dinner. I didn't have a need for the spicy sauce, so I'll just save that for another ration. But overall, fantastic dinner. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, enjoy the campfire, and I'll see you guys for breakfast. Okay, we're back for breakfast. I mean, we got a cold, windy morning. I'm sitting out by the campfire. We're going to have uh, the fruit minis, black currant, porridge. This is a fruit like pouch, a cereal bar, cocoa flavored uh, beverage powder with the coffee. Then we have the leftover biscuits, 
some strawberry jam and an apricot jam. Here we got the biscuits, two packs. I don't know if I'll need both. These are really good, but I did want to try both the jams. And they break real easy. Oops. Here I got the water boiling on the fire and looks like it's ready to go. So we're going to make up our porridge. Go ahead and open this up. It calls for 300 milliliters of hot water. All right, no oxygen tab, but that's the porridge before water. Let's go ahead and add it. Here we go. I'm going to be drinking the coffee and the cocoa flavored beverage powder together. That's how I like to do it in the breakfast. So we're going to add the coffee. It's Colombian freeze dried coffee, 180 milliliters of water. I did a little bit extra, so both mixed up. And then the chocolate hot cocoa calls for 200 milliliters. Just kind of got to meet in the middle. And we'll give them a good mix. All right, so we have the fruit pocket. It looks to be apple, strawberry, banana. That sounds amazing. Let's go ahead and uh, try some out. Whoa. All right, I'm getting a little bit of apple, a little bit of strawberry, but not any banana. Still really good, and it's it's really close if you can't have fresh fruit on the go. Okay, now we'll check out a cereal bar, caramel flavored. Go ahead and break off a piece. Very nice, light caramel flavor. Just like a granola bar has like look uh, raisins in there, some oats and grains. That's actually really good. And again, not overly done on the artificial flavors. I'm really excited for this. This strawberry jam. It looks amazing. So we're gonna try on the biscuit. I continue to be impressed by this ration. This strawberry jam is amazing. <laughs> one of the better ones I've had. Goes great on the biscuit. I ate all that biscuit. I'm gonna open up another one for the apricot. I'm gonna try the mocha that I made up. This is the hot cocoa beverage powder with the coffee. It's looking really good. It's like a dark chocolate hot cocoa. So good. Adding that coffee, coffee essence in there. This is amazing. That was, uh, again, another great product and it's gonna be very hard to beat this rash. Now I'll try the apricot jam on the uh, biscuits. The apricot jam is just as amazing as strawberry, very natural essences of apricot and nice sweet to it, not overly sweet and goes perfect on the um, biscuit. And I really like these packages. You just tear off the top and you can dispense. Now it's time to try out these fruit mini black currants. I'm really curious to see what these are all about. I like like little fruit chews. They're all kind of stuck together, but let's go ahead and give them a try. Another reason why I love trying rations for all the world is getting to try some of these cool items. So this fruit mini black currant, I don't get to eat black currant very often, um, but it's super tart like a cherry, and it's also a little bit sweet. All right, the porridge is ready to go. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, the porridge is really good. It actually is, you know, oat flakes milk, and it's lightly sweetened. So it's just like it for me if I had a bowl of oatmeal and I put some brown sugar on it, and it's perfect. It's not overly sweet, but I would love to have some of this black currant in there. So I'm going to go ahead and mix some of those in there, little fruit bites. Because I like having like a, like a muesli with a little bit more uh, texture to it, but let's go ahead and try it with these black currant bites. Oh yeah, adding the black currant minis to this was having that nice tartness to it, perfectly balanced with the sweetness, went together great. It was a fantastic breakfast. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and we'll head to recap. Okay, time for the recap on the Danish 24 hour menu 17. This thing was amazing. I'm really, I'm really impressed with this ration. Uh, I always consider like French high quality, really nice ingredients, always has great flavor. Well, in my opinion, this actually beat it. I really liked all the natural flavors from the strawberry jam to the apricot jam, the black currant um, fruit chews. Everything was really, really high quality in my opinion. If you have not tried one of these, definitely look them up. Uh, again, I got it from yourmras.com. But we'll start with lunch. Had the tuna fish. I like the, the tuna fish with this uh, chili much better than the uh, mackerel with the uh, tomato. But the biscuits, really nice. You get a three pack, all worked out really well. They actually came with rye bread as well. There's just so many options you can mix and match. The pates, both of them were fantastic. Beef stroganoff, although different from what I'm used to, really, really enjoyable. Awesome on that bread that comes with it. <laughs> Nothing like the American Murray uh, we, uh, wheat snack bread. I would say definitely MVP was breakfast, the porridge, and then having the black currant fruit chews, amazing. Both the jams, like I said, and then that hot cocoa and that coffee combination, some of the best. These are, I've tried a lot of rations, and then when I see and try another one, 
and it beats out a lot of them, if not 99% of them. I'm just really impressed with this ration. I also liked how there was two separate modules and the one had the drinks in it in case one of the drinks opens. You're not having a drink mix completely like saturating your ration. And the as far as the accessory kit, was really impressed with that. Like I said, overall great ration. That's why I love trying new things. That's all I got now, so thanks for watching. Have a great day.